Life is full of issues of various sizes and shapes. In fact, there is hardly anyone without a potential or actual issue. The truth is that everyone is going through an issue, both rich and poor. So do not downplay another person's issue because it is not similar to yours. While we might be going through life, confronting various kinds of issues, there is one thing that is common to all of them. They have an end. No issue persists. Just like storms, there is always an expiry date to any issue at all, including yours. Welcome to the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time of the Year, Year B. I'm so glad to have you. This Sunday, we shall be examining the issue of faith. Of course, faith is a big issue in our Christian journey. In the Gospel reading today from the Gospel of Mark chapter 5, from verse 21 to 43, we read about two events that connect us to the virtue of faith. When our Lord Jesus Christ returned from the other side of the Sea of Galilee, where he had gone to deliver a man that was possessed by a legion of demons, a crowd was already waiting for him. In that crowd was a man, a synagogue official named Jairus. Coming to Jesus and prostrating before him, he said, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come and lay your hands on her so that she may get well and leave. Our Lord Jesus Christ went off immediately with Jairus, and a large crowd followed him, pressing upon him. The narrative would have taken us to Jairus' house, but something happened on the way. In that crowd was a woman whose name was not given. In fact, she was described by her challenge. She was bleeding. The narrative tells all that she spent everything she had with doctors, but everything failed and she was broke. So this was a poor woman with the issue of blood. She had heard about Jesus and inspired by what she heard, she sneaked through the crowd. Yes, she sneaked because she was ritually unclean because she was bleeding and was not allowed to come near normal people. Pushing her way behind Jesus and reaching out her hands and touching his clothes, she said to herself, if I but could touch his clothes, I will be cured and immediately the source of the bleeding stopped and she found that she was healed. Sensing what just happened, Jesus stopped and asked, who touched my clothes? The disciples felt that the question was unnecessary because even as he was speaking, people were still touching him. Responding to her, after she identified herself as the one who touched Jesus, Jesus said to the woman, daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. Of course, what she had was an affliction. The effect was just the bleeding she had for 12 years. As Jesus was dealing with the issue of the woman with the issue of blood who had touched him, report came for Jairus indicating that his daughter had died and there was no need to trouble Jesus. Responding to him, Jesus said, Do not be afraid, just have faith. And Jesus took with him James and John and went to the house of the man. And going into the room with James and John and the parents of the little girl, Jesus held her by the hand and said to her, Talita kum, which means, little girl, I said to you, arise. And immediately she rose and started walking around. And Jesus warned them that they should not tell anyone but to give her something to eat. My dear friends, we have a couple of things to learn about faith from the story of Jairus and the woman with the issue of blood that will help us in our Christian journey. First, it takes faith to wait. The narrative tells us that when Jesus crossed over again to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, a large crowd gathered around him. It is logical for us to conclude that this crowd was waiting for Jesus to arrive. It takes faith to wait. The Word of God tells us in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Among those waiting in the crowd was an important man, Jairus, a synagogue official. And also in that same crowd was an unimportant woman, a poor woman with the issue of blood, also waiting for Jesus. That means, my dear friends, that waiting is a faith facility that is open to everyone, rich or poor, important or unimportant. Second, faith involves hearing. Jairus and the woman with the issue of blood share one thing in common. Both heard about Jesus. Though we do not have details about what they heard, but whatever they heard, 
was so inspiring that it made them to show up to see Jesus. The word of God would tell us in Romans chapter 10 verse 17 that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It is important, my dear friends, for us to be careful about what we open our ears and our minds to hear and to understand. We can be helped by the things we hear and we can also be hindered by the things we hear. Third, faith involves action. It is one thing to be inspired to faith by what you hear. And another thing also, and also very important, for you to step out to activate the faith already received. St. James will tell us in James chapter 2 verse 17 that faith without good works is dead. That means faith activation is as important as faith inspiration that comes by hearing. Look at Jairus. He comes to Jesus. He knew a lot of teachers, but there was something in him that believed that Jesus is able to do this. And that was why he was able to describe what he wanted. Come, lay your hands on my daughter. That means he even believed that the child will live again. The same thing with the woman. She said, if but I would touch his clothes, I will be cured. And that happened to her. It is not enough for us to be Christians and to believe in God. We should also believe in the process of faith activation. We should step out from our comfort zone and put our faith to action. Fourth, faith saves. My dear friends, the central point in the gospel narrative is the power of faith to transform and save. Notice, my dear friends, that the woman with the issue of blood was not strictly speaking healed by Jesus, but she was saved by her faith. Of course, Jesus said to her, daughter, your faith has saved you. It was what she believed that brought salvation to her. If she did not believe, she wouldn't have been there in the first place. She would have been afraid of the crowd. She would have seen herself unfit to come into that arena. But because she believed, it happened to her according to her faith. So faith saves. On the part of Jairus, it was his faith in Jesus Christ that saved his daughter. Even when he had reason not to believe again, when the daughter died, he still believed when Jesus said, do not be afraid, just believed. He believed and took Jesus to his home. And that was what brought about the resuscitation of his daughter. On the part of Jairus, the synagogue official, it was his deep faith in our Lord Jesus Christ that saved his daughter. Even when he had reason to give up, when the daughter died in the process, he still believed what Jesus told him. Do not be afraid, just believed. He believed. It is by our believing that salvation will come to us. In fact, it is not possible for us to be saved without our faith. Moving forward, my dear friends, there will be the need for us to understand that our Lord Jesus Christ is still with us. And you can ask me how and where. Remember, he says in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, I am with you to the end of time. And Jesus is still with us, very much around us in the word and the sacrament, especially in the Holy Eucharist. Did you know that you can still make that touch of faith like the woman with the issue of blood? When you receive Jesus Christ in your hands or in your tongue, do you believe that it is the same Jesus, the unchangeable Jesus, the Jesus yesterday, today, and forever of Hebrew chapter 13 verse 8 that you have received? The same power still subsists in our Lord Jesus Christ and he is capable of bringing that healing to you. Just like Jairus and the woman with the issue of blood, there will be the need for you to get out from your comfort zone. If Jairus had remained in the synagogue, if Jairus had remained at home, if Jairus was there trying to examine his status and rank, he wouldn't meet Jesus. If the woman was shy to come into the crowd, if he was looking at what people would say, she wouldn't have been there. Your comfort zone may not be the comfortable place you need to be in life. There'll be the need for you to get out from that comfort zone, to confront Jesus, where you can find him. He is in his words. He is in the sacrament. He is around us. He is ready to heal you, ready to save you. Just make that touch of faith today and your life will be transformed and you shall be saved. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word that is inviting us to come to you for a touch of faith. Grant us the determination like the woman with the issue of blood and Jairus to step out from our comfort zone and to come to you, the source of all healing and resuscitation. We make our prayers to the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.